Hello everyone and welcome to this video which is in our great engine game series and our crazy Leela series. Another game with Leela giving odds against strong Lee chess players. And uh, this is a game against a 2500, 2600 uh, Lee chess player. And uh, yeah, it really evokes the spirit of Morphe and all those famous odd games that we've seen. Um, Leela just starts sacrificing a pawn on move uh, four and then just keeps on offering more and more and crashes through brilliantly. It's... Um, you know, yeah, it's just what we're used to from uh, from the great American only, you know, against, uh, yeah, modern players who, uh, you know, should be should be aware of all this stuff and be able to deal with it. But somehow against Leela, it's just not possible. Let's have a look how the game went. It is brilliant. So after E4, E5, Bishop C4, Knight F6, Knight C3. And uh, I've... Uh, I mean, I must have watched hundreds of games now uh, of Leela playing odds at various um, in various ways, and um, I saw that Leela played this from uh, from time to time, and uh, I did actually wonder, well, what about Knight takes e4 in this position? It's um, you know always the uh, um, the main uh, black reply if um, if you get this with a, a knight on g1. Obviously, the idea is Knight takes e4, d5 is uh, pretty good for uh, for black. It's equalising uh, straight away. And um, um, yeah, I mean, there, uh, there are possibilities like Queen H5, but they're not supposed to be uh, amazing for white. And of course, you know, anything that um, flattens out the position makes it uh, more stable. Um, well, you know, uh, forcing the game into uh, some sort of equal channel. That's exactly what the, uh, the odds taker wants as black. So um, queen h5 threatens mate on uh, on f7. Black's got this nice reply. Knight d6, covering the uh, the bishop on c4, and uh, protecting the pawn on f7. So bishop b3. And now there's um, um, a couple of ideas. Um, I mean, knight c6 is the most ambitious, defending e5. And uh, well, then we can get into the Frankenstein Dracula um, with a missing knight on g1, um, which is, um, you know, obviously you'd rather have the knight on g1 in principle. But um, uh, yeah, often one of the problems for white is to, to try and get the knight, uh, castle kingside, and then try and find something to do with this knight because it's kind of restricted by black's pawns. I don't know whether you know the um, uh, the variation. It's g6, queen f3. You still can't take on b5 because of queen f7 mate. So we go f5. We go queen d5 with white, threatening knight takes d6 and queen f7, queen e7, and then we take on here, king d8, knight a8, b6. There have been lots of games at the TCC with this, with the knight on g1. And in principle, it seems to be about balanced. But uh, yeah, obviously, this should be pretty good for black in um, in uh, um, with the knight odds. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's what Leela wants, right? Unbalanced position, unbalanced pawns, and uh, and off we go. Leela will try and survive with its king and then uh, try and catch you in all the tactics later. Um, but what black played was a very sensible move. Bishop e7. Simply um, uh, giving back the pawn and, um, you know, uh, preparing to castle kingside. And then the only thing that black's got to do is get this knight uh, sorted. And, you know, in principle, if you've swapped off the two e-pawns like that, then um, that's a pretty good game for black, really, from the opening. It's really flattened out the structure. Only Leela isn't going to just do something like that. Um, I mean, it's quite striking, right, that, uh, for example, in this position, um, yeah, Torch against Stockfish, Torch was suggesting Queen takes C5, allowing the exchange of Queens. You know, Torch obviously not optimised for uh, for odds. But, um, you know, it's those sort of things that you uh, you see from time to time that uh, that show, you know, how different Leela is to all the other engines. Leela in, uh, you know, with this uh, with this uh, odds net. And Leela comes up with a move F4. Known, actually, also with a knight on g1. I saw a, a game not so long ago where uh, um, I think it was a game in one of the elite um, uh, women's uh, tournaments where white played f4 and won a, a brilliant game. Was it Kielbasa, uh, the, uh, the Polish, uh, uh, the Polish uh, player? Very, very strong. Um, I think it might well have been. But um, um, so it's definitely known. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, here, of course, Leela going for it. And of course, you know, OK, you're missing a knight on g1, but with it not there, you do get to castle very quickly. So the opening of the f file will be particularly dangerous. So this makes a lot of sense. So black has to do something and played the move uh, e takes f4. 
And now Leela did something interesting. And um, well, we're having a discussion on uh, on Mastodon uh, with um, with uh, Mr. Beads and uh, Windfish um, about, yeah, you know, would you be able to prepare against uh, Leela, you know, and actually just kill odds play just through preparation? And, um, you know, it's it's definitely um, um, a possibility in some ways. Only I think the thing is that Leela, this Leela is so impressive because Leela's playing just such a variety of moves at all different parts of the game that, you know, it's very hard to prepare. At some stage, you're going to have to play well. And, um, you know, that that is then the challenge, of course, um, because uh, in this position in my database, which is um, um, I've got to update it, but it's up to the 11th of November. Leela had played um, uh, the move castles uh, twice or three times and uh, one each time. But here Leela plays the move D4. So, uh, you know, again, you could prepare against, uh, you know, against castles. And then Leela just comes up with a completely different uh, idea. So, um, you know, there's so much variety. That's the amazing thing about Leela in, uh, in this form of the game that, um, yeah, preparation is very, very tricky. Now, of course, you know, the plan could be completely different as well, right? Instead of casting kingside, you could be looking to go bishop takes f4 and castle queenside, for example. You know, just to try and get your rook round d3 to h3, for example. Um, and, yeah, of course, you know, torch and stockfish can deal with this, but pity the poor human. Well, um, here Black uh, decided to play the move Bishop H4, and um, yeah, you know, I think uh, I think we kind of know what uh, what Leela did here. Um, I guess Black's idea maybe was to play the move Queen G5, follow up by trying to exchange off the queens, but uh, Leela just played G3. I mean, if you've ever looked at the King's Gambit a bit and the Cunningham Gambit, I think it's called, then this will be pretty familiar to you. You know, just any check like that, just G3. And after F takes G3, castle kingside, give away more pawns and uh, just go all out for the attack. And, uh, well, it's uh, after G takes H2, black is, a, is the odds piece up and also four pawns as well. Um, well, King H1 is a natural human move. You always sort of hide behind an H pawn, but it's actually might not be that sensible because... Uh, you know, there are possibilities of checks there. You're a bit better protected um, uh, to checks actually on uh, on H2 because, uh, yeah, you know, the E5 or this diagonal is is quite well covered somehow. So king takes H2. So it's actually um, uh, the odds piece plus uh, three pawns. But, yeah, look at that development. Just so reminiscent of Morphe, really. You know, just, uh, you know, incredible development. Just this ability to get pieces going, open lines, and uh, now black's got to deal with it. So castles was played by black, protecting the f7 pawn, and now knight e4, another piece uh, offered. But of course, uh, yeah, you know, there's uh, some severe danger if you take it because f7 is uh, is hanging. So black tried to um, uh, to deal with that by playing the move g6, which is pretty sensible, um, feels pretty sensible. You know, uh, g6, you're giving your king an escape square and um, also just blocking the um, uh, the attack of the queen on f7. But rather unpleasant uh, move here, queen d5. Keeping that pressure on f7. And, you know, now because of, the, of g6, we're also threatening bishop h6. And once you play bishop h6, then, you know, sacks rook f7 followed by rook f1 are, you know, are really uh, in the air there. And, uh, you know, I mean, you know, just look at the, at the black position, right? I mean, you know, this knight on d6 is uh, blocking the bishop on c8. Knight on b8, rook a8, uh, not developed. Yeah, the only developed piece is a bishop on h4, which is not really doing that much for uh, for the defense. So, yeah, you know, I mean, Leela's, uh, this is just one of those games. I mean, sometimes Leela plays the long game and uh, builds up slowly and, uh, you know, advances its pawns and uh, crushes you. And uh, sometimes Leela's got, you know, ideas where it just goes for the attack straight from the beginning. And this is one such example and Black's under huge pressure. Uh, there was one way of defending, actually, which, again, is giving back material, uh, but, yeah, in a creative way here. Um, c6, queen d6, bishop e7 was the best, you know, looking to drive the queen back and then play d5. Interestingly enough, what you can do here is to go knight f6, check king h8, and then the engines were suggesting bishop f4 in this position, incredibly enough, uh, just uh, giving up the queen. Um, and, uh, you know, preparing to, uh, um, to well, yeah, completely restrict uh, black. Peace for the queen. Uh, well, peace for the queen and three pawns. 
but some very dangerous counterplay could come along the H file or uh, invade on the seventh. You know, it, it's it's really not easy for Black to deal with. The engines were just about managing it, but still, you know, uh, pretty uh, pretty good really. Uh, pretty good practical chances. Uh, Black here played Knight takes E4, couldn't resist taking another piece. Now two pieces and three pawns up. But now Leela crashes through and all of a sudden it's 3.15. It's the standard thing, really, you know, that uh, Leela's getting these positions where, you know, the engines are still saying, OK, you know, it's still minus three, still OK. But, yeah, the, 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 compl the complexity and the difficulty of what you're needing to do to keep afloat is just so large that, you know, it's it's just not going to happen in a human game. So queen takes f7, bishop h6, threatening uh, mate on here. Very difficult to deal with. You can't go something like queen f6 because of uh, queen g8 checkmate. So black played bishop f6 and white played rook f1, bringing the final piece into play. And black resigned here. Why is that? Well, I mean, the simple thing is, um, doesn't really matter what you do. Um, white's just going to play the move rook takes f6. If knight f6, we've got bishop g7 checkmate or queen g7. And if queen f6, we can go queen g8 checkmate or queen e8 checkmate, whichever tickles your fancy. So, uh, um, yeah, you know, for example, a move like d5, we just go rook f6, queen f6, queen e8, checkmate. So there we are. That was the game. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I thought it was lovely. I was watching it uh, live. I mean, a lot of these games I'm just watching live and, uh, you know, it's just incredible, right? Every, you know, every two or three games, I'm saying, oh, my goodness, you know, what an amazing game. I've got to put that one on my channel. You know, it's uh, I'm not even just, uh, you know, looking at the whole database and then picking out the best ones. I'm just looking at it and uh, the amazing games are, yeah, are just, you know, falling out of the trees, really. So, uh, yeah, quite incredible. And, uh, yeah, the scores that Leela's been uh, been doing um, in my original database, it was like 97 percent against 2100. And uh, well, I mean, I think the average rating is a lot higher because uh, a lot of people on on Lee Chess are, are just starting or playing at time controls they haven't played before and starting at a 1500 rating. But you, know, you often look and they're at 2600, 2700 bullet or something, which is strong players. Right. I mean, uh, I'm 2800 bullet, you know, um, sometimes a bit more, sometimes a bit less. And it's probably a little bit below, you know, what 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 it should be for for my elo. I'm a little bit old, right? But um, but yeah, you know, it's it, it's uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, a decent uh, over the board level. And uh, and Leela's just making you know, but ridiculous scores, right? Sixty nine zero, uh, you know, really stuff like that. It's just absolutely incredible. So um, yeah, just amazing. I mean, I hope you're enjoying it. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I think this is just the most wonderful stuff I've seen, you know. So uh, I'm going to keep on going with it. Also, going to do some other things. Don't worry if you if you like the uh, re-engineering the chess classic series. Got some more uh, stuff planned uh, later in that. But um, but yeah, I think these games are absolutely incredible. So hope you enjoy them too. So there we are. Do uh, stay tuned. Watch more. Give a like. Subscribe. Tell your friends. And hope to see you at the next video. Thanks for watching.